Uh, I thought it automatically ate her, but I guess it, like, waits. Which means I can release it and just let it, like, fly around. Books are nice to read and some people are nice to eat. Cool. Continue that. So, by the looks of it, I'm going to release it and then not let it kill me. I want to see if, if I can just leave it floating around. It, I want to know if these two fight. So, it tells me go away. Release it. Yeah. So, can I get out of the room if I leave it alone? Kind of looks like it's following me. No! <laughs> Is it going to eat it? Are you going to eat the other book? I'm waiting. You're following me around. You're very clearly following me around. I'm, I'm just trying to see. Can I? Oh, it's still screaming no. All right. You're floating around there. I'm going to leave you two alone. Let you guys have that time. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that on the second slot this time, just in case it does something to me. All right. So let's see, Blue Room. Blue Room, I can give it the book straight away. Have you found it? Yeah, I haven't even talked to you, but sure. Let's let's say I found exactly what you asked me for like a month ago. It's fine. Oh, please bring it here. I love the fact that like we're skipping like so much. Um, we're skipping so much by accident because of my like, I can't remember. It's actually quite funny. Um... I know that she's over there, but um, I don't think your bookshelf had anything. You never trust anyone with a blue beard. Okay. Well, what the? What was that? It sounds like it came from the room next door. All right. I don't recall there being anyone with a blue beard in this game. So that's interesting. What about this? Can I? No, I have to put it on the shelf. I have to talk to her. Put it back on the shelf. Jesus, I was trying. Here we go. I just love the fact, like, how chipper this made chick is. There's a torn page between the books. Witches are malicious creatures. However, they love playing tricks more than simply being evil. Power and nonsense. Tragedies continue in their laughter. So, the only thing with this is that there's a lot of giggling the whole time, but it's not Charlotte. Because otherwise Amelia would recognize it. So then question is, where the fuck is the other witch that's like done all this? Like we never found anything to suggest that there was a second one. A doll in the blue dress sitting on the floor. Yeah, they tend to stop moving after you return their belongings. Uh, okay. A neighbor is very noisy. Oh don't worry, we're gonna go knock on their door in a minute. Every time I go in there, I die, so I don't have anything to offer it this time. Not yet, anyway. Last time I offered it some shoes and some other stuff. The fuck? <laughs> sure, let's... The fuck? There goes the shoes. Yeah, I thought she wanted her shoes back last time, and, and I gave her her shoes, and she, like, killed me for it. There's also dance moves on the floor here, too. I'm going to steal your candy before I go get you your shoes. I know I've got to go find them. I probably don't even have to actually talk to you to go find them, I bet. But I also don't want to have to, like, walk all the way back up here. Angry-looking little bear. The dress. You don't look like you got any more candy. I know none of your stuff in here actually has anything good. Shoes are gone. So are my feet. I can't dance anymore. Uh, could you please find them for me? I love the concept that, like, if you don't know that she's a doll, right, if you think that she's just like a little kid, which I did the first time I played through this, I like legit thought that the little kid's feet had just like got ripped off and ran off. Like it's a little bit like jarring. <laughs> I think those shoes are running downstairs. Yeah, I think that I don't know where that goes, but that's upstairs. So we'll just go down here. Oh, this barrel's break. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I gotta stop getting her hurt. I don't have the thing to heal her this time because I already drank it. I should check You're on her. Um, <laughs> thanks, Bubba. I should check on her health. She's at uh, two sixty, so that should be fine. And I've got to find. They should be down here on the dance floor, maybe. Maybe. Why did I just get hit on fire? Some invitation bursts on fire, and I lost the invitation. Great. Oh, the second, what's that? On a second thought, there wasn't a room 275. 
Was there though? Um, so this is squishy. Where's the dancy shoes? Um, they wouldn't have gone over to the closet or anything, right? I feel like that ain't right. They went downstairs. I would have thought they would have been on the dance floor. I just want to save. I don't think I saved for a little bit. I know they're not here. I'm just going to the little save spot. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Let's go. Have a look. I doubt they'll be in the cloak room and I still can't see that damn door. Let's have a look anyway. Yeah, they're not here. And I don't see them in the other room. So let's go towards the kitchens and stuff and have a look over there. Maybe they're near... Oh, maybe they're what broke the wall. Let's go have a look at that. Maybe they're what kicked in that wall so I can get down into dungeons. I, I like feel like I vaguely remember that being a thing. There they are. Don't let them run away this time. Yes, you will. I could go through the kitchen, but I don't want to. All right, now that I'm over here, let's just save. All right, Jesus, all right. Uh, I'll go find them and then I'll save because we're going to die in the next area anyway, so don't you worry about that. Deep feetsies. Yes, here you are. Got the red shoes. Got the doll feet. Also got kicked. These shoes are pretty weird. Okay, where are you going? There's something at the end of the corridor. Maybe? It's a secret wall. Cheese. <laughs> oh man. That timing too. It like made it sound like it was creaky cheese. <laughs> Looks like a hidden door. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to save there. Is there a save in here? I don't remember. I also never successfully got into this area. So I'll see how I go this time. There's the save. I was so afraid of this thing. I thought it was going to eat me after that other book originally. Okay, so there's a heap of barrels. There's several ways to die down here. So before I actually bother to do that, let me just get her killed. Each one of these gallows does the exact same thing, right? It does not matter which one I stand on. Okay. So she gets the don't play in dangerous places ending. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. Break it. There should be a key under this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. Found a dirty key. Um, I still don't know how to get into that room. Ah, damn it. Break it. There is a lever up here. We'll switch and it will... Well, you say that. Red stains on the blade seems to be unable to clean. Considering how well she cleans stuff, k chain from the ceiling, the size is not for a bird. Look. It's one of those dungeons, alright? Um, old book full of red stains. I can't get it though. I believe it's supposed to have a drawing or something in it, or maybe this one does. Help, help me. Who's screaming for help? Is it this? Maybe. So now I know I was a bit daft about like using items and stuff, but I wonder if other stains that can't be wiped out. So I can't use it on that. What about the locket? I never tried that. That just always shows me a picture of him. Who is this? Oh, now she's asking who this is? Yeah, okay, I can't get in there. I know there's like a little orb of light in there, but I, unless it's going to be to like help me get into somewhere, I didn't end up needing it. So it should be fine. Just save since I got the key and I got the death. So. Oh, that's right. I remember doing this for a while before I figured out that I actually really need to use a key on it. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm just going to like wrap on this door for a while. Okay, so the door's open now. Can I go in it? Cool. So now we're in the dungeon. My only thing is I never checked the walls in here last time because I was too I was too spooked by the little spectres. So I didn't end up trying any of the walls, but I will this time. So I'm not afraid of them hurting me. They don't seem to hurt me. Paint everything red, red, red. Yeah, I do need to do that. One of these explodes. I remember that, but I don't remember which one. It's probably this one. No, oh, that's the last one. Oh, okay, no explodes this time. The most charming, lovely, beautiful. 
Um, hmm. Found 21 candy. 16 candy. Now, what I didn't know to do till way late is to dip the white rose in here. So now I've got a red rose. It's a bit of a cop out to get it, but yeah, it's a red pool. All right. So now the only thing I didn't do was that it said something about the walls last time and I didn't fuck around looking at all the walls. So that's what we're going to do this time. I already checked out all the caskets. Um, I know that there's a door there or not a door, but a doll head there. Okay. So I missed that last time. Um, I thought that there was going to be like a, like a outway type thing. Let me go check in around here too. Cause I don't think I actually checked that. I don't think these go anywhere, but there's a chance that if they do, maybe, maybe. I would expect any kind of like jump scare ones to be like straight ahead, like up here. Right. I can't do it wherever the barrels are. No, I already checked that one. And, oh, it tore the, it just then when I looked at it. So if I look at this again, will it tear? No, it didn't. But this one did. After you dip the rose, it disappears. The instructions disappear. Also, Azula has joined us. She is being cat mush. Very cute. All right. So there is stuff here. I'm trying to candy. Griffith's hidden in the wall. So that's what it told me last time. And I never checked any of the walls. And there's, I think, a second hidden room that I never found. That's what I'm trying to find this time. Wishing well. I probably won't fucking find it, honestly. House of Amatello. Yeah, I know, I know Amatello's got all of his cast down here. It's all fine. All right. Now, I don't think that there's a way for me to save in here. And I didn't save back where I was. It gives you all the clues as you're walking around here. Only the murder tells the lies. Who among the three? Yeah, so they're talking about these three. So what I want to do, I want to grab the candy, go back and save if I can get out of here, and then come back in and play with the death thing. Because it wants to know who's lying and I need to hang somebody. So... Well, not hang somebody. I need to cut somebody's head off. So we'll get that done in a moment. Open that up. I was so afraid when I first opened that. I thought that they were going to, like, jump and attack me. This was really, like, the first, like, Halloween-y sort of, like, themed game I was playing. Like, I really don't play, like, horror scary games. Really, like, funny thing is, like, I play Doom. But it's, like, sci-fi stuff. So I can, like, completely separate like the gore and all that stuff from it i consider it more like gory than like scary somehow it's still scary but like this i don't know just a suspense and not knowing how i'm gonna die or when i'm gonna die and stuff in the game and what things are gonna do to me because i don't play scary games is like in itself scary um that's why i think like monday tuesday and wednesday is gonna be so bad with visage it's like, I'm just unsettled by opening the game. Like, I could just imagine, I don't know, I'm probably going to lose my voice, probably screaming, crying from that game. I didn't kill anyone. All right, so clown didn't kill anybody. And the pumpkin, I don't have to kill the clown because he was already dead. The skeleton, I was the victim. Yep. All right, well, let's go. let's go cut one of the heads off. Now, I can put the wrong one in here and we can die. So let's just say straight up it's the pumpkin. Get that death. They don't like you prosecuting the wrong person. So however, I'm innocent. So now I die. I, I can't move or anything. The spirits get me. And because I was supposed to be a pumpkin, I, I think that's the whole thing. I think Grim originally speculated that I might be a doll but judged by all the clues it gave me this time and the outfit she had the first time I think she might actually just be a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin that's been turned into a, a girl um, instead of actually being um, a doll it's really interesting I didn't really pick up on any of that originally now I think I've already got the rose right yeah okay that's all I wanted to know 
So it's really interesting. Now that, you've, now that I've played it once and I'm playing it again, I have all these subtle little, like, hints that don't really make sense the first time you played through it. And now, now it's really obvious that she's actually just a jack o lantern pumpkin turned into a person. That's really cool. So who is lying? Oh, I've got to read the thing on the floor. Sorry. Goddamn. Also, the dripping. <laughs> if anybody needs the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Because, like, that's that's going to be, like, pretty consistent here and there throughout the game. I've got to ask some questions. Ah. Oh, I got. Also, when I get to the fucking mirror room, I want to explore so much I can in there because I didn't get to last time. Last time I accidentally found the exit on the first go and, um, there was still other areas I wanted to explore. So, it's a skeleton. I like the concept of like decapitating a skeleton and kills it. Oh, he fell from the skull. A silk heart. What the? Yeah, so there's a mirror up here now. So this is the mirror room, right? find out. Oh, we can see Charlotte. Where is she? The house is too big. Amelia can get lost in our own place. Is she a right? Yeah, so considering Amelia runs on magic, um, any kind of like separation is not great. Where am I? So there's a bunch of mirrors. And last time I like looked at all of these, I want to have a look up on the second floor and just see. I don't want to repeat the thing where I managed to get out like on the first fucking go because I accidentally did that. And I think it's in between there um, that gets me out of here. So I just want to leave that alone for a minute. I play with these mirrors downstairs. So now that I've walked around, I've seen everything. Look at this mirror, it doesn't do anything. It'd be really cool if it showed her like other side in it, you know, like her pumpkin side. That'd be really cool. The mirror will tell you the dark secret hidden in this house. All right. The fine time there was a prince. He was gentle, handsome and loved by everyone. Flattery from ministries, infatuated from ladies. Made him wonder what they really care about. What is true love? Okay. And there's nothing she could do with these mirrors, I believe. My only thing is, like, I don't know if this is where an alternate room comes from, maybe. Ah, here we go. Of course, you didn't believe the appearance. You didn't have this title. Who come to your party or stay by your side? She noticed his confusion and said with a smile, Love is a curse. People lose their minds and manners for it and become moody, pathetic, or ridiculous creatures. The ones looking for true love are the most absurd, yet they deserve happiness the most. I can help you find it. <laughs> Please tell me that's not where I have to get out. I still reckon that's Grandma Marilyn. I reckon that's Grandma Marilyn giggling. We got the we got the pumpkin. Oh, cool! We didn't get that. It's awesome. This mirror. Does the master's house use it too? So we can finally see what we actually look like. Last time it didn't change. Last time we were normal. This time we're a pumpkin. We actually see what she is and why she doesn't like the jack lantern heads. So fucking cool. All right. At first I thought it might turn her into a pumpkin. Look, I'm a different floor now. Such a huge house, I have to make sure to bring these feet back. Yeah, you do. And if this is the other house and the saves over here. Okay, so I know there's a couple of rooms here. Let's save that, let's go downstairs. I can also get back to dungeon by going through that mirror. There's also candy further down as well, but let's go sort out Miss Red Room. Uh, let's give her her feet back. Um, 
think it's actually supposed to be pink because red room's upstairs. Let's give you your feet. Feet back on the doll. She should have stopped moving. Yeah. Okay. So she's happy. Okay. So done that. Let's go back upstairs. I think these two are done. I'm not sure what goes that way, but I think it takes me out towards where I was before. I'll find out later. Um, save this. At this point, I'll just save over file save one at this rate. I have the rose so I can fucking hear and I have to not get hit by the nutcrackers at all. I thought originally I could take the flowers and it was like such an obvious hint. I'm like, oh yeah, the um the flowers. I'll read that journal afterwards. I just gotta get past this guy. Alright, so you. Hi. Got a present for me. Yeah, I do. And this time we're not gonna give you three different things that are wrong. This time we're gonna give you the red rose so I don't get murdered each time. Actually, you know what? She does need to get murdered, doesn't she? I don't have the white rose this time, but I can give her the red shoes. I give her the red shoes and let her let her get m my person murdered because oh shit, Azula, that's my keyboard. Azula has decided to sleep on the side of my keyboard. There we go. All right, so she's she loves them. The <laughs> only problem is they're cursed. <laughs> um, feet won't stop. She does not like it. Oh, God, it's off of her head. <laughs> red shoes ending so my only problem is that I can't actually do the white rose one because I've already dipped it so that's fine though um I don't really mind if I get um eight out of nine deaths it'll still work fuck off nutcracker All right, hey so I have definitely got a rose for you that you will love because it's red she loves things that are in red um says it's so pretty. I'm going to steal your candy now because you're enamored with that flower. Come on, let me steal it before that guy gets me. Uh, they hurt when they walk up to me. Can I read this from this angle? Can I read it from this one? Maybe I had to read that beforehand. Oh, doesn't matter. There's nothing in here I can get. Let's go save that. Okay. Now, as for the green room, the green room baffled me for ages last time I was so lost but I only have one thing that I can give her <laughs> this is my room the head talked where is my body uh, maybe it's still in the dungeon no I brought the head up um so what I have to do is play with that spindle I'm going to steal candy first. I still love the little balloon thing here. This thing's amazing. And it's a balloon. Yeah, I like it too. It's very cute. I actually really like this room being, like, so green. Like, I don't mind different shades of green and stuff. Like, it's not my favorite color, but, like, I don't mind it. If I had a heart, there will be no more pain. It just, like, the overwhelming greenness of it is, like, soothing. So, yeah, I've got to actually play with this thing. Small spinning wheel. And I've got to do silk heart on that. So why can't I? Maybe, where is the girl? I've, it's surely not the head in my pocket that started talking, right? Maybe we have to use it from this side. No, I still can't use it. I've got the dog head. Do, doll head, not the dog head. Holy fuck. Imagine if I'm walking around for dog head in this game. That's a little bit fucking morbid. All right, so maybe I actually do have to go and find a body for her. It did say in the dungeon, right? And I can, like, fast travel by that mirror, but I'll save first so I don't have to, like, redo any of that crap. Save over file, save one. That book that's on the loose doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, Going back into dungeon, sure. So it's fast travel down here. So there's a body left down here somewhere. I don't think it's in this thing. At least I don't think it is. Guillotine. Um, where would that body be? So these are the two that lived. Hi. <laughs> All right, you two are completely fucking useless. Let's see if words disappeared. Is there something on the shelves beyond skeletons? Um, I like how they're storing skeletons on the walls. That's fantastic. Um, let's see. 
I feel like there's something I actively missed in this area. Let's see. I've got the key. I've got the rose. This is still part of the dungeon. I don't need the well. Hmm. Maybe this side. I don't think that little thing in that room is what I need. Maybe it is. Maybe that white thing is the body. Can I use a key on this yet? Um, use the flashlight. I can open the locket, but that's all I could do. I saw your little paws are going to click something at this rate. She keeps stretching out and her little legs are like slowly encroaching on my keyboard. And I'm like, she's very close to the escape key and my um, macro keys. <laughs> I don't need ultra fast clicking right now. Like that can wait. Well, this is dinner ready yet. Um, I don't think that's going to help me going in there. I don't think the kitchen will. Um, bathroom shouldn't. Uh, let me just go. I, I wish that I didn't have to walk around like such a distance to get to like the bottom floor, but I will go and have a look at the uh, dance hall. Have a look in there. Um, what else? There is a cloakroom. If I could just get that other fucking door open. I feel like at this point I need that to be open. There's definitely a lot of ghosts in there. There's so many fucking ghosts in this right now. I know I don't need anything more from that room. It's got a safe in it though. I feel like I need to find... I, I know I keep coming back here. There we go. There we go. Finally. Finally see it. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, am I not? Do I have anything I can offer you? Like, not really. So I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, I get that, but, 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 but I want, I want in. You got candy. Oh, I want that candy. That in here. The chick shouldn't be in here anymore. She shouldn't be invisible. Who's here? All right. Now that you're not here, let's rummage in your shit. Won't open. Really? She locked it? I know you've got candy in there. I can't see it yet, but I'll get it. Don't you worry about it. All right, the only other thing I could think of would be, say, one of the other color bedrooms. I'm pretty sure I sorted out pink and blue. Oh, wait, there's another room upstairs I forgot about. Hey, that side room on floor two. I completely forgot about that. Go see what that is. I should be able to get it from this side anyway. Doesn't matter which way you go through this, it still takes you up there. Um... I should be able to get in. Yep. Okay, so yeah, there's a room up over here. Here. I didn't check this out. It won't open. Okay, it's fine. Now, I believe I've done pink room. Yeah. I don't know why we're bothering to knock. I believe the doll's back to being a doll. The thing was I didn't specifically search a room, did I? I don't think so. There's probably something on the bookcase or something like that that I need to take and I... Just haven't because I'm like, I don't need to look at anything. Some children's stories. All right. Um, bed should be fine. Let's have a look over here. Blue room. Blue room should be done. I still love how she like chooses to knock. Okay. So what's shining over here? Which is the malicious creatures? And I read all that. Um, fairy tales and puzzles. Doll sitting still, ghosty outside. Um, I guess I can only see that with a flashlight. Someone with blue hair, huh? Wonder. Wait, doesn't the host have blue hair? Let's save that. I'm gonna go back into the library and hopefully that thing won't kill me. Now I'll go upstairs. Let's see. Hey, book. Oh, it killed the other one. It killed the other one. Oh, the poor book. I wonder if I needed that for anything later. Can you imagine? I'm like, I've just saved over everything. Uh, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to walk straight into it. I didn't mean to walk straight into it. That was a mistake. <laughs> this is why you save before you go places. Let's go upstairs. All right. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Go back upstairs. I wanted to go down because I think there's like candy and stuff down here. 
There's also a room, but I don't know if it's visible to me yet. It's not visible to me yet. That's fine. I'm pretty sure the magic protects it. So we've got red room. I did give you stuff. The only problem is I couldn't read your book, which I think I needed. It's a little bit of a fuck around if I actually did need that to progress. You imagine. Oh, my God, that would be so fucking frustrating. Get past all these guys. Let's go check on this bookshelf. For sure I checked these already. Um, check all your flowers. Can I take your bouquet? No, that's fine. I really thought I could read this book, but I guess maybe not. Uh, i got to wait for you guys to move. I feel like maybe that had a clue. Oh, man. This one, I really did think that it was the silk heart that I had to give this because I got lost with this for a while and then you guys were like, gave me 